welcome to this thought-provoking video about the potential game-changing benefits of the big boss Elon Musk's robot in various industries. The world of robotics is rapidly evolving, and with the creation of robots like Optimus by Tesla, we're witnessing a massive shift in how we approach work. The use cases for robots are countless, and in this video, we'll explore some of the most valuable ones. Let's talk about how robots can increase efficiency, reduce labor costs, and improve safety in small and middle-sized companies. This will break not only the stock market, but human productivity as we know it, and Tesla will become the most profitable company in history as a result. Before anything else, hit that like and subscribe button. The use cases for robots are plentiful, and I believe that some of them are already incredibly valuable. I would have gladly paid up to $100,000 for a robot in today's economy. For example, if you're on three shifts, one robot could work all three shifts, and if the job doesn't require any supervision, it could work weekends too. Even if we assume two shifts, the robot would be twice as valuable as an employee. Most employees in the US cannot be hired for less than $20 an hour, so let's assume Optimus works for $25 per hour. There are over 2,000 hours per year in one shift, so multiply that by 25 and we get $50,000 a year. Multiply that by two shifts and we get $100,000 in value for each Optimus robot per year. Robots have their benefits and downsides. They don't need to take breaks, go on lunch or call in sick, but they can break and require repair. Thus, it would be better to have more robots, such as 12, so that there's always a backup if one breaks down. In any case, robots are not subject to the same issues as human employees, such as squabbling or complaining about wages. While I loved working with my employees and helping them grow, robots offer many advantages that cannot be ignored. When it comes to robot technology, many people envision conveyor belts and robotic arms completing repetitive tasks like screwing, drilling, or welding. However, these types of robots are often too expensive or inflexible for smaller companies like mine. For instance, I needed a robot to place a cap on a bottle, which required a complex series of movements involving a tether and a pop-on cap. I consulted several companies, but their quotes ranged from $20,000 to $100,000, and none of them could guarantee that their robot would work efficiently. Fortunately, Tesla has created Optimus, a robot that could perform tasks similar to a human with some training. Instead of spending a fortune on a conveyor belt, I can invest in one or two robots to complete the same work that six or seven employees did every day. Moreover, I wouldn't need any supervisors to oversee the robot's work, thus saving me additional labor costs. Bots like Optimus can solve many problems in a small or middle-sized company, especially when it comes to repetitive tasks like safety checks or bottle capping. While there are some upfront costs associated with purchasing and training a robot, the long-term benefits can be substantial, such as increased efficiency, reduced labor costs, and improved safety. As a business owner, I've come to realize that some tasks are not as complicated as they seem, and using humanoid robots can be an efficient solution compared to automation or big robotic arms. One area where robots can be particularly useful is oversight jobs. While similar to Quality Control QC, oversight jobs require monitoring to ensure that operations are being carried out correctly without spying on employees. Cameras can help with oversight, but it can be challenging to keep track of multiple cameras all the time. Having a robot in each department to help monitor the job can be much more efficient and reliable. Robots can also be deployed in hazardous environments where an employee's safety is at risk. These jobs often require finesse, and it's not as simple as just placing a weld at a specific spot. Robots can be programmed to handle such jobs, reducing the risk to employees. One example I like to use is as a masseuse. While you can't have a robot arm that comes in and massages your shoulders perfectly, there are robotic massages available that can be programmed to your specific needs. Jobs that require a human touch, such as nuance or spoken word, can also be handled by robots which can follow instructions accurately and efficiently. In conclusion, while there is no need for conclusion in this case, I believe that humanoid robots can be incredibly useful in many areas of business, from overseeing operations to performing tasks that require finesse or spoken instructions. Let's discuss the potential benefits of Tesla immediately building 3,300 or 1,000 robots. The number one reason would be for learning. As we all know, data is crucial for Tesla's autonomous driving technology and the development of general AI. 
By deploying more robots in factory settings, Tesla can gather more data from the activities of these cars, including data from cameras, car activity, engine, motor, heat, and human reactions in different circumstances. This data can then be used to train other robots to be more efficient and effective, thus generating even more data for further improvements. The second reason would be for experimenting with different use cases. I encourage those who have worked in factories, distribution centers, or outdoor activities to share their thoughts in the comment section below. There are many possible use cases for these robots, including running equipment, forklifts, and tractors and farming. In my opinion, there's no reason why Elon Musk and Tesla shouldn't deploy a thousand robots as fast as possible. I believe it's a no-brainer. If anyone can think of a reason why this wouldn't be a smart move, I'd love to hear it. So let's get creative and think about the possibility of having more robots in the real world. Imagine a factory where robots are doing the heavy lifting, freeing up workers to focus on tasks that require creativity and problem-solving skills. Or a distribution center where robots are doing the picking and packing, allowing workers to handle more complex tasks like customer service. The potential benefits are endless, and I think it's time for us to embrace the future of robotics and automation. And who knows, maybe someday we'll even have robots that can do our laundry and cook our meals. By deploying robots in various settings, Tesla can gather more data and information, allowing them to fail fast and improve their hardware and software iteratively. Speaking of hardware, deploying a thousand robots would enable Tesla to test and develop its hardware at a much faster rate. With more robots deployed in different settings, Tesla can gather data on how each iteration performs and use that data to make improvements. Another benefit of deploying a large number of robots is that it allows Tesla to showcase its progress to the public. Tesla can create videos and share them with the public, demonstrating how the robots are being deployed in various settings and performing complex tasks. This could help generate hype and increase interest in Tesla's stock. Lastly, deploying a large number of robots can help Tesla move faster in simulation training. While simulators are useful, they're only as good as the data they're fed. By deploying more robots, Tesla can gather more real-world data to feed to its simulators, making them smarter and better. The first batch of robots would be hand-built, but eventually a production line would be necessary to sell them commercially. I believe that Tesla will have a usable robot by the end of the year, and they'll begin selling them in early 2024. As for limiting factors, I cannot think of any at the moment, but feel free to add your thoughts in the comment section below. As someone who's seen robots up close, I can confidently say that 3D printing can revolutionize the manufacturing of these machines. If you know a robotics expert or have experience in manufacturing robots yourself, you understand the intricate components that make up a robot. The question is, can all these parts be 3D printed? If the answer is yes, then there are no limiting factors to the manufacturing of robots. The overall capabilities of robots may not be ready for mass production yet, but I've seen robots walk, pick up objects, and even water plants. Cameras may be a concern, but I don't believe they're a limiting factor either. The only possible issue could be the cost. Let's say it costs $100,000 to 3D print each robot. Even if you were to produce a thousand of them, that's only a hundred million dollars for Tesla, a drop in the bucket for a company like theirs. If you enjoyed this content and found it to be useful, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.